Hey everyone, this is Joe from uh, Excel by Joe. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create charts like this to display the results of a, of a survey. In this case, it's gonna be a customer service survey, but it could be really for any survey. But I'm gonna show you just how, to, how you can create a pie chart, which kind of shows the results and puts it into, a, a, in this case, a 3D chart in here to um, give you the complete visual display of this data. So uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so our first step is to go to our data and put our cursor on the table, go to insert, pivot chart, or actually pivot table, and let's create the table first. So the data is completely filled in when you have the cursor on the table. We're gonna go to a new worksheet, press OK. And we're gonna start off with how how was your overall experience? So I'm gonna take this to the values, then I'm gonna move it over to the columns. So now we have our count of below average, good, great, and poor. But what we wanna do is combine these. So I'm gonna right click on here, and put show values as percentage of the grand totals. So this way we can see it as a percentage, which would make more sense when we're, when we're looking at the pie chart. Okay, so now we have our data. We're gonna to go to insert pie chart. We're just gonna do a 2D chart to start. This doesn't really look like much, so we're gonna to need to switch things. So we're gonna click on design and we're gonna to need to switch the rows and the columns. And when we do that, then we'll get our normal looking chart because then the axis will change and then we have our, our data here. So we've got below average, good, great, and poor. So let's format this table how, how we want to, to, make it, to make it look uh, a little more presentable. So first, I'm gonna write, I wanna get rid of this. So I'm gonna d click on it, right click, and go to hide it. Here, I'm gonna click on this also and hide that name. And I wanna get rid of the legend right here too because I'm gonna put it right into the actual, into the chart. So I just click down and press delete. So now we've got our actual pie chart. we we'll click on it. I'm gonna right click and go to add the data labels. So now we have the actual percentages, which is what we want. But let's format the data labels. So we're going over to here. And I'm gonna go to this final one for the chart and we'll go to the label options. And we wanna put the category names also. So then we can kind of see like which ones are poor, which ones are great, good, and so on. And I also want to format these a little bit. So I'm just gonna go up to home and make them bold and just make them slightly bigger. I'm gonna change the, the chart description here. And this was, how was your overall experience? So now we have the, the title on here. And I'm just gonna... Okay, so now that we got it a little bit bigger, this makes, makes it look, look a little more clear. And now we can change the type to make it um, make it look more 3D. So we'll go up to the design and change chart type. And we're gonna go to pie chart and let's make it look 3D. So we'll just click the 3D one, click okay. And then once we have it, let's, let's look through these ones up here to kind of get the one that we want. And I kind of like this one, this looks pretty good. It's got your, um, looks like, looks 3D, almost like a hockey puck. We've got the four different uh, titles, good, poor, great, and below average. So it's a pretty good way to summarize all our data. And I think we're uh, pretty good. Let me just, I kind of want to format the border, make a so put a solid line on the border. 
And I also want to change the color of this one because this is the great one. Um, the great reviews and it's gray. I don't like the that it's gray. So I want to change it to a solid fill and green. I actually was going to pick green. So I would like leave it at green and let's change pour to red. There. So that's how we can create a chart for it. I'm going to just copy it. Put it right in our data. There. And we've got our first chart. And I'm not going to go through how to, how to make the chart for the other ones because it's the exact same way. But uh, let me just fa fast, fo f fast, f fast forward and uh, show you what the, the final result is again. And you can just see how you can uh, do a chart like this pretty quickly and uh, get a nice looking uh, pie chart to show your results of your survey. And here's the uh, final result of the three charts all set and ready to go and displaying your uh, information that you want. So uh, hope this video was helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Please click a thumbs up and like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks.